Oh, hello there. Today I will show you a bit about my Extreme Accelerator. Before I start, this setup involves high voltages, so never try this at home. Don't do it yourself if you have no idea what you are doing. It's lethal, so don't play around. Basically, the goal of this thingy is to accelerate this ring, and this version accelerates it with roughly 10,000 meters per second squared. So it's it's quite quick. It's 1,000 g's, 1,000 times the gravitational acceleration. How we achieve this is uh, we have a flash capacitor, uh, 400 volts, 1.4 millifarads, about 100 joules. And we discharge this in one millisecond to this coil. Uh, we get a very high current, or basically better, we get a very high current change. That will induce a voltage in this ring. And that ring gets a, a current running through it. And then we have two magnetic fields that are repelling each other. So basically we use induced current or eddy currents to uh, very quickly accelerate some object. Now one of the main challenges is to switch this high current because this capacitor 400 volts has a we have a ohmic impedance of 0.5 yeah 0.5 between 0.5 and 1 ohms so we get a current of yeah I think it's it's over 1000 amps so the the impedance must be less than 0.5 ohms so how do we switch 400 volts and 1000 amps well, basically, that's this here. This is a triggered spark gap that I made with a few nuts and bolts. So basically, you can make a, a hundreds of kilowatt switch for just a few cents. And when I press this button here, the trigger button, we will get a spark. So there is a third electrode in the middle. And basically, we uh, trigger a spark gap that creates a conducting air, ionized air channel, and then this will trigger the main discharge. Now, of course, the capacitor wasn't charged, otherwise I wouldn't be pointing at it. So now I will charge it to 200 volts. So this is the beginner's mode. And that's a discharge. So you don't see a lot because it's so quick. But basically we get a flash and a bang because of the uh, triggered spark gap that is switching. So now I will recharge it again. So that's quite intense. And this is the beginner's mode. If I now charge it to the maximum voltage, we get something a bit more extreme. So that's why I say don't try this at home, because it's you know, going at, I think, 80 kilometers an hour. If you optimize it a bit more, you can go way faster. Anyways, that's it. If you would like some more details, just ask, comment, and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.